reborn baby that I made and I'll be boxing up to send home. So let's get started. Okay, so this baby right here is a cuddle baby and if you don't know what that means, clearly you can see only the baby's head is vinyl and the rest is made out of cloth. So when you play with this baby, um, you dress it up and completely cover all of the limbs and you just leave its head um, seen because that's the only part that's realistic about the baby is just the head. So um, these babies are really good for cuddling, especially for people who use their dolls for therapy. Um, cuddle babies are really great for that. I personally don't like cuddle babies for my own collection, but I think they're really cute and I love how poseable he is because normally with reborns, if their leg is bent like this, it like has to stay like that because the vinyl's made like that. But I can like kind of move around the waiting and kind of adjust the way he sits, which is really awesome because he's super poseable. He's super cuddly. I actually ended up making him pretty heavy as well because a lot of the times if you're wanting to cuddle with them, especially for therapy, you want them a little heavier so they feel a little more realistic. So we have him right here. Um, so this is, the kit is Tessa by Sheila Mrofka and um, I know it is a girl name for the kit but I did list this baby as a boy because I think it looks like a boy and the person who bought it also wants him as a boy. So here's little Tessa. <laughs> I guess it's a little weird to call him that. I will get a little close up on his face because obviously that's the only part that I painted and I'll just show you some of his details. I think this baby is so pretty. I really love how he turned out and I'm kind of sad to be letting him go but I can't keep all the babies I make and like I said I don't really like cuddle babies for my own collection because I like to have more freedom with what they can wear rather than always covering them up so that's just really the only reason I don't like them but I love holding him because he's so, he's so cuddly. Like it's so much fun to hold him. He feels so realistic the way he like flops and he's just, he's a great baby. I really love him. So I'm really excited that he is going to a nice home and his mommy just told me that he has five siblings he'll be going home to so I'm really excited. He's so cute. So I'm gonna zoom in and get you guys a little close up of his details. So like I said, I made this baby and you can see all the pictures of him on my Instagram at Kelly Mabel Reborns. I just wanted to pop in really quick and say I actually was able to get my old username back at Little Mouse Nursery because it had been the 14 days since the hacked account changed the username so that username was available and now I have it again. I usually take around 30 pictures of each of my babies so I can post them on my page. Um, so yeah, here he is. He has glossed lips so they look like wet like a real baby's when they slobber. He has rooted eyelashes. It doesn't really want to focus. He has little baby pimples. I like to add those. I have one here. There's some here. I think there's more like over here. Um, and just like the shading and coloring on him it looks pretty realistic. And his hair I think is so cute. Um, it's painted hair. It's light brown. And I think it's really sweet on him. Oops, it's not focusing again. But yeah, I think he looks really cute. I'll show you his little swirl. Yeah, I think he's a really cute little baby. And I really like how he turned out. So I'm really happy that he sold pretty quickly. And now he's going to a loving home. So we're going to pack him up and get him ready to go home. Now, as some of you may know, I used to do box packings for my babies a long time ago when I first started making them, but then it got too much. It got to be too much for me because I was making a lot of dolls and I didn't really have time to make videos of packing them all up because it's so much quicker if I just pack them up by myself and not um, film it. But since uh, my Instagram was, my reborn Instagram was hacked and deleted, if you haven't seen that video, I have a video all about it. Um, since that was, that happened, I want to make box packing videos again so I can just raise more awareness for my account, bring more attention to it, and show you guys more of my creations because I don't post much of my work on here and so this is a nice way to do it. So yeah, he is super cute and we're gonna pack him up. So he's a newborn size baby. Um, I have his little birth certificate here from my nursery. This one I accidentally got paint all over and I'm really sad about it but it just has four dolls that I made in the past on it and then it has the date that he was born, so January 18th, 2020, at 8.51 p.m. And then the kit is Tessa by Sheila Mrofka. He's four pounds, five and a half ounces, 18 inches, and then my nursery name. And the back is just blank with more paint. I'm so sad that happened, but I have that. And I'm putting it in here. And then I have a little thank you note that I wrote to the mommy. I always write a little thank you note and I shove that in there. And then I have this with his mommy's name, which is Michaela. So I'm going to pack him up. Sorry, I'm just licking the envelope closed. 
So he's, I just wanted to show you guys that before I close the envelope. So we have that for his mommy. And then for his things that he's going home with, he's wearing this newborn diaper and I have another one that will go on his head. I like these ones because they have little mice on them. Um, I think they're really cute because obviously my nursery name is Little Mouse Nursery, so these ones are just perfect for that. So this one will go on his head so it can stay protected when I pack him up to go home. I always send my babies with like a little lovey, so I have this really cute elephant one. I think it's so sweet and it's super soft. It's from Carter's. I always send my babies with brand new items. As you can see, everything has tags on and I will be taking all the tags off because I don't really like to send them with tags. Um, I don't know, that's just something I do. I always take the tags off and wrap them up nicely. But everything is new that I buy for my babies and I always buy from Carter's usually because um, that's the easiest for me to get from and actually I think it ends up being cheaper than if I had bought stuff from like Target because there's always coupons and deals and stuff going on at Carter's. There's a Carter's like 15 minutes from my house, so I'm there a lot and a lot of the workers like know me by name and <laughs> I brought my dolls in a couple times to show them because they really like to see them, so it's really fun. So like I said, we have this little toy for Tessa and then since he's a cuddle baby, I'll be sending him with scratch mittens. I don't usually do that, but like I said, since he's a cuddle baby, he needs to have his hands covered, so I send cuddle babies with scratch mittens. This is just a little pair I have that is um, gray and white striped. Doesn't totally match all his outfits, but I actually, yeah, it does. It matches them pretty well. But yeah, these are just a little neutral pair that can match pretty much every outfit. So he has those. And then I always send my babies home with three outfits and one sleeper. Um, I just think that's like my standard box packing, and if people pay for a bigger box packing, then obviously I will do more. It's just, it costs more. So my standard box packing is um, one sleeper and three outfits. So since he's a cuddle baby, I wanted everything to have things that could go over his feet. So this first outfit has a pair of really cute socks. It actually has a little striped hat too. And then the shirt says hello with a rhino and a koala and then striped pants and it actually has a cute little tie in pockets. I love this outfit. So this one's super cute and it has the socks for his feet and the mittens for his hand. This actually matches really well. So this outfit can completely cover him. So that's accommodating for him. This outfit um, is really sweet. It ha I love the material, it's like ribbed. It has this little koala right here and it's just a dark blue and a dark gray stripe to the pants and the shirt are the same pattern and then it has little socks that are koalas with little blue. That's really cute and this uh, gray striped matches as well, really well. So we have that for him. And then um, I actually got, I got everything from the same collection. I try to make everything match. So this is a two set of sleepers. And like I said, I usually only send one sleeper, but since he is a cuddle baby, this is easier to have him like completely covered down to his feet. So, and it actually has fold over scratch mittens or these scratch mittens can match pretty well. This one is just white with um, little clouds and koalas and stars all over it. And this side is the cute little blue and white striped. So those are his outfits that he's going home with. And now we're going to pack him up. So. Yeah, I'm gonna take the tags off all the outfits real quick and then we'll be right back. All right, so I've taken all the tags off and now I'm just trying to decide which outfit I wanna send the baby home in. So usually I'll send the baby home in whatever outfit I think looks the cutest and which one's my favorite. So for me, I'm just trying to decide between either this outfit or the other one. Um, I don't usually send babies home in sleepers. I don't know why, I just don't. So I'm gonna just like hold it up to him and see what I think. This obviously looks really cute on him. Um, and this one also has a hat, but I'm going to cover his head with a diaper anyway. This one could be cute to send him home in because it says hello. So like when she opens him, he's like saying hello to her, which would be really cute. And I do like how that looks, but I also think this one will look really, really sweet on him. I don't know. These colors like look really nice on him and I really like that. Oh, this is so tough. Oh, I do like that one. I think we're going to send him in this one. I really like it. So I'm going to dress him right now. I like how he's just kind of lounging right now. I'm gonna put on the scratch mittens first for babies that are cuddle babies. I usually put on the scratch mittens so then this part is on the inside of their outfit. I just like how that looks better, but some people like this to go over the sleeve of their baby. I personally just like how it looks on the inside. I don't know. <laughs> Look how sweet that looks on him. Yeah, this was definitely a good choice. His socks look weird. I don't know why. I feel like they're going up too high. <laughs> he 
He looks so sweet. And I also forgot to mention this blanket is also um, new from Carter's. It's from the same collection, so it kind of matches his little outfits. Yeah, so now I'm going to put him off to the side while we pack everything else up. I like to pack the baby up very last because I like to look at them. I always feel sad sending babies home because I think they're so cute and I don't want to let them leave. So we're going to put him off to the side while I pack everything else up. So to pack up my outfits, I just use um, tissue paper. And so I have three pieces right here. I usually try and match the colors to the outfits. I didn't really have any that totally matched these. So we're just going to work with what I have. All right, let's, the sleepers are I usually do first. So I always just like fold them and wrap all the outfits individually. All right, so I have the baby on the ground now on top of the blanket because we have to wrap him up and he has his little lovey. Sometimes I wrap the lovey inside the blanket and sometimes I keep it out. I'll probably keep it out just because it's kind of big and he it's like <laughs> half the size of him. It's almost as big as him. So I'm going to keep it out, but we're going to put this on his head so everyone say goodbye to little baby. Your last look at him real fast. Super cute baby. I love him. So... I'm really excited for him to go to a nice home though. Here we go. And I also just wanted to mention, um, I, for my Reborns, I only do sales through my Instagram at uh, Kelly Maple Reborns. Sometimes I put my dolls on eBay, but that's not very often and I don't have any on there currently. Um, also, I am not accepting custom orders right now. I've been getting a lot of messages about that and just because of the recent thing with my Instagram, I'm not really ready to start up customs again. And also, um, as I've mentioned before, I am going to be selling at the Rose Doll Show this year. And if you want more information on the Rose Doll Show, um, don't ask me. I'm not their information person. You can go to their website and get all the information from them. Um, but I will be there selling this year for my very first time. So I'm trying to built up a stash of babies that I can bring there. So I'm really kind of focusing on making dolls to bring to Rose. So I'm also not really planning on selling any of the babies I make right now besides like this one. And um, I have another one for sale, but he's um, supposed to be uh, getting a deposit paid tomorrow. So he'll probably not be for sale by the time this video goes up. And I will do a box packing of that baby when he goes home as well. So yeah, I just have him all wrapped up, and I actually don't have a box for him right now. But um, yeah. these are all of his little things that he's going home with. Oops, it's kind of close. Yeah, that's just how I pack I pack up all my babies. Oh, and like I was saying, um, so for like I said, um, for all my reborn sales, I do it through my Instagram at Kelly Maple Reborns, and. I'm not accepting custom orders right now, so please don't message me, or if you do, do not expect a response for a while, because I'm focusing on, one, just building my business back up, and two, um, making babies for Rose. So, Rose will really be the best place you'll be able to get a doll from me, because I'm trying to have, I'm trying to hopefully have a lot of babies for sale at Rose, so I'm working on painting a lot. Right now I'm working on technically four babies right now. Um, yeah, so they'll all be coming to Rose, I think. And I ordered some more kits that I'll be bringing to Rose with me. Well, making and bringing to Rose. So yeah, I'm hoping to have a lot of babies so my booth will hopefully be successful and big. And yeah, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please click like and subscribe. I don't think you can comment, so make sure to follow my Instagrams and comment there at Kelly Maple YT and at Kelly Maple Reborns. And I will see you guys all later.